Today we're going to bring a ThinkStation P620 model. Now this one has a thread ripper. It could go up to 64 cores. It's a 4.3 hertz. Uh, graphic card it has an NVIDIA Quadro. This is equally almost similar to a, a 3080. All right. So it's, it's right in the range right there. So this one could go up to 20 terabytes out of the box. It's capable of handling pretty much any project you have especially for the movie industry the gaming industry this is a great machine to have now to upgrade is very difficult it's one of the most difficult systems because it's everything's pretty much built for the machine not built to upgrade now the problem i have is that we do have a rtx 4090 and unfortunately we cannot upgrade the actual uh, power supply and that's going to be an issue so today we're just going to go over the actual system and see how it looks inside and see what you get when you get something like this let's start with the cons the first thing i do like about all the latches that you can remove every single component in here very simple but the problem is that uh, it's just certain things you cannot do and this is the power supply i'm just giving you guys a demo of how it comes proprietary to the actual system so that means you cannot replace it only with the same module now everything has latches which i like release mechanisms also uh we're going to go over a couple things you can remove very simple easy to use and then how to replace it all right so let's go ahead and remove some of the components all right we're going to take a look at the memory right now i just took out the actual module that comes with it it's for the actual cooling of the memory and um, right now, what I'm looking at the actual memory, right now the memory is a Samsung memory. It's a 3200, um, 3200 pretty much, and it's 16 2X, right? It's a DDR, a DDR4 on this one, 3200 hertz, right, on the memory itself. So uh, memory's not that expensive, you know, we'll probably find it for like 60, 50 bucks. So, and this is 32, but... Um, 16 gigs will get, get 32 gigs will actually be um, about 50 60 dollars all right so easy to upgrade the memory too so uh, if you guys notice the slots here and here is a secondary memory so it has plenty of memory for for a lot you, I like that it comes with the actual slot for the memory and this one's easy to pick up all right you just gotta have to press it that's it to take it off it does have a regular standard um, fan all right connection so let's plug it in all right, let's remove the video card. So the video card is connected in the back, right? And this one has a, a six pin right now. And there's two six pins, all right? So we're going to disconnect. So if you guys can see it, these, this is what's plugged in the back of the video card. Uh, I did put two hard drives. So that's me putting the hard drives. Now, this one in particular, you have to lift up here, right? Go back. And then you do have to remove the extra screws. So there's screws. They're tied in on the bottom end. Okay, so make sure you take that off. We're going to remove this so we can see how much space we have. All right, we're changing position on the actual system so we can actually remove the video card. So let's go ahead and remove the video card. And you got to be careful because there's actually a bracket here in the back. If you guys can see it, it slides in, all right? And we're going to have to remove this part right here, but uh, you're going to have to come out straight up, all right? So let's disconnect this first. We're going to disconnect the this card first here and then we're able to bring it up because of the slot all right so you were able to click this if you guys see it this is actual lock to lock it in now we're able to release it and you got to release it from here too go straight up straight up there's a video card this is the video card that came with the system and if you guys notice it's a heavy duty card all right it has plenty of slots and this is equal to almost similar to a, a 3090, right? A thir not 3090, 3080. That's pretty much it, you know. Of course, it's a RTX A5000. Uh, it's a little dusty. We're going to clean it up. We're going to put this on the side and see what else, what's in there. Let's go ahead and review the inside of the actual system. All right, if you guys notice, there's plenty of slots, all right? Of course, this slot right here is going to be taken by your video card, and the other one's going to be cover it, all right? So um, you got one up here, two, three, four, five, six, and it tells you what type of cards can fit in here. Uh, I'm going to give you guys this little um, close look up. Now, this one says slot 8X, generation 4. They're all generation 4, right? Slot 
X16 generation 4, slot 16, slot 16, and then slot right here. 8x so you have 8x 8x and 16 you have 1 2 3 4 16 and 2 8x right so you got a lot of space in here for any other video cards if you're going to add a secondary video card or not only that an asus um, um m.2 reader you could do all sorts of things but i like that they give you all the sata connections in here on the right that's because you could raid the systems all right so we do have some drives in here we're going to add some additional drives later down the line um this could act like more like a server too because overheating is perfect on this uh, there's more slots on this side here that you could add certain things in here but unfortunately they didn't give you any slots um to actually rack them in there so you're gonna have to either remove these two you only have two space for two more and that's about it there's not that much space in here for upgrading the only thing you could upgrade here the drives but even the m.2 drive is a little difficult because it is built in here like a generic built um for their system um even that's a little difficult to replace but you can replace it right so you could replace the memory you could add memory um the drive itself i wouldn't recommend the changing the actual fan itself if you want to put a water cooling system you might not have the space because of the actual fans are really small they're not the 22 they're not the 120 they're they're small really small fans and they're generic right they're only made for this kind of systems uh i've seen these kind of builds on a dell and of course now i'm sitting at lenovo and lenovo is pretty good because they still let you upgrade certain things the motherboard you're not going to be able to change anything out of here. Now, if you ever want to upgrade your system to a different case, you're going to need a lot more than just the case. You're going to need to replace the whole entire motherboard um, because the system is a generic motherboard. It's a larger motherboard. It will not fit in any, any basic case, right? And on top of that, you still need to uh, migrate the rest of the wiring. And not only that, you need to migrate the actual power supply, which is a, a different setup, right? It's nothing like the other systems. Of course, it has a slot. You can pull it out if you want. This is the actual power port. And, and it does come out completely, right? And it does connect to the actual motherboard. So we're going to take a look at the M.2 that's embedded in here. Um, it's locked right here. You got to remove. You don't have to remove the screw. You could just unlock it here. But we're going to see if we could try to avoid not removing the screw. So we're going to see if we can unlock it. But there might be some thermal tape or or some paste. So we're going to take a look at it. See what's in underneath and what kind of M.2 and if it's an 80 millimeter or 30 we're gonna find out so let's open it up all right so i finally removed it and the way you have to do it is push the button in and up and once you, it opens up you got plenty of space so they do have two slots for it to do m.2s if you guys can and vne right right now we currently have one and it's one terabyte this is the case itself and in the case it tells you exactly how to remove the the actual radiator that's covering the m.2 um, pretty much this is all the floor plan of the actual system that you have the motherboard including with the drives and in including with the reset of the uh, CMOS and all that stuff's in here the power supply everything's lined up and physically so they do want you to mess with it but at certain degrees all right so uh m.2 they know that it's going to be replaced you need to replace it and that's going to be a necessary thing so we are going to add a secondary right now uh, on another secondary m.2 on this machine and we're going to see how it works because um so far this is a beast of a machine you want to start getting used to it and start working with it because of the actual graphic card not only that we're going to use it for video editing so I like the whole setup itself. So plenty of cores too. That's why we want to take a little advantage of it. So let's go ahead and use it. All right, we're going to add the secondary NVMe, another two terabytes we're going to set up right now because we want to. <laughs> so let's go ahead and set this up. So before we set it up, we're going to have to remove the screw. All right, and I'm doing this uh, not in a high standard area, not in a nice uh, proper area because I gotta be careful what I drop in here. Don't wanna drop the screws because it goes straight down. So here's the first part. It's a drive, all right. In there, and then we're just gonna prop this in there. And 
this is supposed to go on the side of it. So I'm gonna have to lay it down. So let me do that right now. So we're gonna add the secondary drive, and it says to grab them a little bit from the corner and then push it down. And then, because I got sausage fingers, it's a little difficult. Pull this out. Down, lock it, make sure it's locked. Make sure this is locked. And then we're going to put in the screws and we should be good. All right. The last part of the actual setup is just to make sure it picks up on the BIOS. Once it sets up in BIOS, we're ready, able to either use it as a main drive if you want, but to main, do the main drive, we're going to mean either clone it or we have to replace it who's the lead on the actual uh mvne so today we're just gonna set it up and let it be and we'll do another test if you guys want to see more about this or know more about this or maybe find out what else i'm gonna upgrade let me know hit me up on the comments and if you guys like stuff like this make sure you guys subscribe and help the channel out i really appreciate thank you very much have a good one 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel i hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful and I hope you hit the like and subscribe.